so good day good day good day and welcome back to the channel i am spirit soul if you are new to the channel welcome go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell so you know when i upload into this channel also if you're interested in this already enchanted sacred bracelet look down in the description below and you can find the birthdaygift.org where you can order yourself an already activated bracelet and if you're interested in already fix candles look down in the description below and shop shock therapy use my coupon code and you'll receive 10 percent off on your first purchase so there are several links in the description and there are several discounts so just shop around and see what it is that you all are liking so disclaimer pisces initially i wasn't going to do you all's reading this month um, I felt an energy of something not being complete when I initially sat down to do your reading. However, there are some new souls that have come to this platform. So, through my meditation, it was revealed that I must do a reading for them. So, I just wanted to let you all know that. It was going to be like how um, last month I did not do um, readings for certain signs because of them not showing up for their own healing. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. All right. So what do we have for Pisces? <laughs> Become a loving mirror. Pisces. What I'm feeling right now with this energy, this energy is a, um, it's like a, a past wound and it's so dark and this wound is causing you to feel like a hole inside of your heart, okay? And so in order to heal this wound or in order to become a loving mirror, you have to heal this wound. This wound is so deep and there is work required, right? And so right now you are not that loving reflection that you desire to be. And in order to be that love and reflection, there is going to be work required. Sources wanting you to transform now and begin this journey and take this journey seriously to heal this wound. Because this wound is a block in your transformation. Okay? So in order to do this, they are wanting you to go into solitude. They're wanting you to go into solitude and become one with yourself and getting to know yourself and getting to know spirit. You gotta, I'm not going to say you got to stop moving around so much, but you got to sit still for a little bit. You got to sit with spirit for a little bit because you're not alone. You just need to be comfortable sitting with them, okay? So this is also saying that you being able to be still will allow whatever enemies that you may have to reveal themselves it will allow any potential threats or any potential hexes or curses or you know things like that to come to surface but you have to sit still you may feel like right now like every time you look around something's not so good is happening in your life and so therefore source is needing you to sit still so that you can see it when it's coming okay source is also saying that they are needing you to cultivate love create love all right that effervescence okay they are needing you to cultivate the love 
right? And the only way the love is going to come is the love is going to come from within self. So the love that you desire is is within self, but you have to get to a space to where you are in love with self in order for it to reflect in your relationship or reflect in your lifestyle, if that makes sense. Source is wanting you to even love your dark self. So this has got something to do with love. So not only are you um, having issues with other people, you are having issues with self and self sources. Like who cares? Like love that darkness of about yourself. Love your shadow self. And in order to love your shadow self, you got to stop hiding it from people, and you got to you got to embrace this darkness about yourself. And you have to explore that darkness and you have to understand that darkness because that's in order to heal, you have to understand and accept this. This darker part of yourself, this part of yourself that you don't want anyone to see, but everyone can feel. And lastly, free yourself. I need to give you your numerology, but in order to give you your numerology, I have to take all of the cards back out of the thing because I am literally the one eye oracle. And that is a literal sense. I only really have one eye. Here's a 10. So I want you to write your numerology down. Number 10. Okay. Number 31. Number 12 synchronicities number five number 33 and number 13 okay so i want you to write your numerology down so you can really understand the sacral meaning behind this message because if you look at the spiritual representation behind numbers and then the numbers will give you an, a, a completely different message well same message but give you more understanding of this message but Pisces it's time for you to get off to yourself and embrace your shadow stop running from your shadow self Okay, stop running from your shadow self. Love your shadow self. Work on your shadow self so that you can heal yourself and then you can be all love and light. Huh. Yeah, mother rejuvenation. So once you begin to do that work, once you begin to do that, um, that shadow work and sit with yourself, things are going to burn off quite quickly. So if you're wondering how things could get better, is doing that shadow work and releasing all of those things that are not serving the purpose in your life. All right. Expressing love throughout. And here, and once you see this work, you're going to become balanced because here's this three here. So you're going to become balanced. Your root chakra and your heart chakra is going to balance out. And then your solar plexus is going to just be on fleek. And then your crown is just going to pop and you're going to be receiving so much download. You're just going to become coming to complete balance once you burn all of that stuff off. And lastly, then you have this sun. And this sun is going to radiate. All right, It's going to allow things to really come together and shine bright in your life here. All right, and you're going to be in a, a place of peace and a place of balance. Okay, but you have to definitely, definitely, definitely work on shadow self. All right. So what else do you have for the Pisces? I mean, it's not a bad message. It's, I mean, it's similar to a lot of the things that y'all get with a different deck, but the new ones that are here for the change. They're going to take this message and they're going to soar. Source. What do you have? Whew. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. So Pisces. You are here to be known. 
Okay? You are here to be known. So they want you to speak. And they want you to be seen. This card is the voice card. 30. What's your numerology on that? See all these threes? Now you're starting to see this correlation. Like sources just dropping all these threes with you. Right? But you are here to be known. And you are here to be seen. So you got to use that voice. Alright? You got to use that voice. Speak up. These messages. Those traumas. Those situations need to be heard. Alright? And so now, sitting with yourself. While you're sitting with yourself, you're going you're gonna to develop a way to communicate this. All right? You're going to develop a way to communicate this. And you're going to communicate it in a non-hurtful way. A way that's not going to hurt you, but a, a way that you can deeply tell that you have gotten the message. And so after you see this inner life, your inner life is like a garden to be cultivated. It's like... Like you're 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 in the midst of creating yourself through all of this. Look at that. Creating a world. Creating your world, like literally creating your own world. With the life that you have, all right. This inner life, it's your garden. It's it's, it's up to you to nurture it, all right. It's up to you to expound upon the, that inner wisdom. Look at that. And then we have here this emotional energy. And with this emotional energy, you get in. It's, it's letting you know that your emotions are like these cues. Like these emotional cues are like messages that are, that are coming to you. And so you are supposed to really pay attention to the emotions that are coming to you because the emotions that your response to these emotions tells you what needs to be healed or what needs to um, have your attention. Okay, so if something happens, if something old comes up, somebody mentioned something that happened a long time ago and it makes you upset, then that's a key indicator that there is something unresolved there. But if something comes up and it makes you feel good, then that's a key indicator that that thing has been healed. So really paying attention to your emotional cues and the energy surrounding your emotion so you can know what you should be paying attention to and what you should not. Okay, so what else do you have for Pisces? What else do you have for Pisces? What else do you have for Pisces? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> 22. You know. You feel it. And you know. You feel what you're supposed to be doing and you know what you're supposed to be doing. You have a feeling of what's to take place and you know what needs to take place. It's up to you to create the world that you desire here. All right. That's that cultivating the life. Once you cultivate the love, you can create the life here. And you can either create a perfect reality or this is 30. You can either create a perfect reality or you can create a false sense of reality or a not so pleasant reality. It's up to you. So I just want you to go against the grain with the four. So you've got the 22 and we have the four here. So I just want you to go against the grain. Go against all odds. Defy the odds. Here. Alright. When adversity strikes. You have to face it. You can't run from adversity. It's your the adversity is your learning experience. Okay. Source. What else do you have in this transformational reading that you want Pisces to understand? Pisces, what sources want you to understand is that you have this sacred partnership, okay? 
and in this part in these partnerships this is not necessarily um uh, 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 intimate relationship this could be a relationship of any sort but what they're saying is for you to form relationships that promote your growth form relationship that motivates you to change you ever seen that group of people that you know how they say like birds of a feather they flock together if all the birds that are flocking together aren't going anywhere, then the person attached to them aren't either. So form relationships that forces your growth here. Source is also saying dig deep. They saying like you got these sacred gifts buried within you. So you have to go deep to find them. They're buried within you. Meaning you can reach them. You got to go deep though. You got to stop with this surface level stuff. Sorry. You have to stop with this surface level stuff. And dig deep into the essence of your soul. Into the essence of who you really are. To pull these gifts out. And this right here is why this reading almost didn't get done. And I'm sorry for the new ones because y'all don't even know what's going on with this card right here. Birth this gift. This is a fertile time for you. Do not let this energy pass you by because if you allow this energy to pass you by pisces you are stuck you do know that right you're going to be stuck for a while and not a reading or a crystal is going to bring you out of it okay you gotta take advantage of this opportunity that is before you. Who cares what anyone else thinks? <laughs> that was that was the message last month, wasn't it? <laughs> Pisces, I'm I'm being as raw as I can right now with this message. I can feel like the energy. I wish you guys could feel the energy that I'm feeling right now. Source, what else do you have for Pisces? Allow the Phoenix to rise. So now here we come with this repeat, 32. You're suppressing the Phoenix. The Phoenix can't do what the Phoenix is supposed to do because you're suppressing it because you're not digging deep enough. The hole within your soul, 36. This thing needs to be healed. This thing, this thing, the first car that shows up and now showing up in your healing Pisces. This hole needs to be filled. This void needs to be filled. I don't know if it's something going on maternally. I don't know what it is. But this soul of yours is hurting. And to the world, you appear fine, but you're not okay. Pisces. Source is saying that you need to find your soul purpose. 29. 32, 36, and 29. And if you need deeper level, like, just come to Patreon. We have classes there. We coach, we meditate, we do all these things. The resources are available to you, but it is time, Pisces. Even if it's not for me, I can refer you to somebody that can help you. You just got to want it. Okay, Pisces. So what else do you have, Pisces, before we close out? I'm going to go into your careers. Or sad, Pisces. <laughs> so... Some of you guys are into these crystals and sources saying that your attraction to this 
is going to result in like energy healing with crystals like channeling and and working with crystals okay so it's going to be like a form of divination for you to really work with those crystals others are you going to be like conducting healing work through culinary so like you're going to be healing people with food so maybe some of you are talented in that aspect and others are you you're going to be feeding somebody something whether you're feeding them something you might be feeding their souls or you're going to be feeding them per se and others of you are going to uh, be doing a lot of work surrounding family you know family is going to definitely be an important part of your work here okay so just really getting deep into that so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you want the extended version of this reading go ahead and follow me on patreon you can receive the extended version of this reading at the lowest level and i'll holler at you